Hi, I'm Elijah, and welcome back to another Kenko webcast, your number one source for information on labeling and pricing products. Today, I'll be showing you how to properly load and maintain your Toa GS275 handheld price gun. The Toa GS275 is a unique six-digit pricer. It has large, easy-to-read digits with the ability to price items up to $99.99 with the dollar sign. It's a proven workhorse built to withstand harsh environments and is very popular in any retail manufacturing environment. If you find this video to be helpful, please click the like button below. Before we begin, let's familiarize ourselves with several key components of the pricer. Let's pick up the gun with our left hand and take a look at the top. Right away, you will notice the print head and the adjustment dial. Below, you will see the label housing assembly. This is where the labels will rest when the gun is properly loaded. On the left hand side of the label housing assembly is the housing cover. This will secure your labels in place when the gun is in use. Rotate the gun to the left side. Here you will see the ink roller assembly resting below the printhead. I'll be talking more about the ink roller assembly later on. Let's flip the gun to take a look at the bottom cover. On the top you will see the pressure roller. The pressure roller will help apply the label to your product. Below, you will find the bottom cover latch. Lift it up to take a peek inside. Below the pressure roller, you will see the pressure plate. The pressure plate will help maintain consistent tension when the label gun is in use, giving it a smooth operation. Below the pressure plate, you will see the advancing mechanism. Notice the sprockets on the wheel? The sprockets line up with the holes on the labels so that the advancing mechanism can feed one label every time you squeeze the trigger. Now that we are more familiar with the various components, let's learn how to quickly and properly load the Toa GS275 label gun. We'll start by opening up the label housing cover. Next, flip the gun over and open the bottom cover by lifting up on the latch below. Grab a roll of labels and place it on the shaft of the housing assembly in a counterclockwise direction. Then close the label housing cover to secure the labels in place. These blank labels in assorted colors can be custom printed with your information and are available through Kenco at kencostore.com or call us at 1-800-86-KENCO. To make the next step easier, let's bend that first label about 30 degrees away from the label lining. Now we can begin feeding the labels into the gun between the pressure plate and the advancing mechanism. Pull about 4 to 5 inches through for the next step. Now, we'll need to feed the labels through the gap in the pressure plate. To make this a little easier, let's bend that first label inward towards the label lining. Once the labels are through the gap, pull them back down against the sprockets on the advancing mechanism. You'll want to be careful not to feed the labels around the pressure roller, as this would cause the labels to jam. When you rest the labels on the advancing mechanism, line up two of the holes on the labels with the sprockets. Sometimes we have too much slack here. If you do, hold the labels against the advancing mechanism with one hand and start rolling back the slack with the other until it's tight. Close the bottom cover tightly until you hear it click. Now that the gun is properly loaded, we will learn how to adjust the price. I'm going to show you how to adjust the dial on the printhead. With the top part of the gun facing you, we will use our left hand to hold the gun and our right hand to grab the adjustment dial. Let's change the bands to our desired price by turning the adjustment dial. To move to the next set of digits, simply pull the adjustment dial and the adjustment indicator will follow you to the digit you are currently adjusting. To dial in a blank space, simply rotate the dial knob to the white blank space. This pricer has an auto stop feature so it will prevent you from dialing past the blank space. When you have finished adjusting your label gun, be sure to push the adjustment dial back into the print head and you're all set. Now that we know how to properly load and adjust the Toa GS275 label gun, let's learn how to change the ink roller. On the left side of the gun, you will see the ink roller assembly. The first thing we need to do is lift up on the latch and rest it against the printhead so we can remove the ink roller. Flip the gun to the opposite side and push down on the ink roller itself. It should fall right off the ink roller rod. Once the ink roller is removed, we will get our replacement ink roller from its packaging. Slide it onto the ink roller rod and snap it into place. Additional ink rollers can be purchased from KenkoStore.com. 
Secure the ink roller by bringing down the ink roller assembly latch to lock the new ink roller into place. Next, I'm going to show you how to adjust the print location if needed. For this part of the tutorial, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, size PH1. First, we'll need to loosen up the two print head adjustment screws located on both sides of the print head. You only need half a turn in a counterclockwise direction to loosen up each screw. Take care not to loosen the screws too much as this may damage your pricer. Once the screws are loose, we can slide the print head toward the front of the pricer to lower the vertical print position on the label, or back toward the rear of the gun to raise the print position. After the print head has been adjusted, we can test the new print location. Once the print location is lined up to your satisfaction, let's tighten the screws to secure the print head in its place. Now that it's printing perfectly, we are ready to begin labeling. To label an item, simply pick up the gun, Squeeze and release the trigger once, hold the price gun directly over the product, then just roll the label on your product and you're all done. This has been another Kenko webcast. For more information and outstanding prices on these products, visit us on the web today at www.kencostore.com or call us toll free at 1-800-86-KENKO. For more product videos and tutorials like this, go to www.kenko.tv.